When you complete your patch and get your result in the out top you need to export it to any type of video that is the best for your purpose such as MP4. To do that from the file menu select the export movie option. This is the export movie window. First, you have the input section. Drag the RTOP to the top video. Now you have your visual in this window. The next field is chop audio. For example, if I add an audio with the audio file in chop and connect it to a null, again I can drag this chop to the export chop audio under the video top. So I have the inputs. Then you can set the resolution. This is the export resolution and is different from the resolution of your output. In movie FPS you will set the export frame rate. And like the resolution it's different than your patch frame rate. Look at this part. In this, you can set the end frame and FPS. By default it's on 60 FPS, and the end frame is 600. So you have a 10 second loop in your patch. Set the export FPS the same. 60. To export similar to the patch. You have several options for the codec. I mostly use H.264. Or MPEG for non-NVIDIA GPU for MP3 and MOV export. Don't change format and audio codec if you don't have any specific need. For the audio bitrate I mostly use 320 KB S but the 128 is usually enough to have a clear sound. In the timeline section you can select a part or whole timeline. It's based on the timeline in your patch. In the timeline if I increase the end and re-end frame to 6000, you see the timeline has 6000 frames and it's a 100 seconds loop as the FPS is 60. So enter 1 to 6000 frames to export the whole timeline. Time coding is usually useful for more complicated projects. In the output section, file name shows the save location and the name with its format. Like the default example you see a dollar sign and n. You can put this expression in the file name. The saved name will be the file name and the ink number, and it increases when you save new output. Change the MOV to MP4 to export MP4 video. Then click on Start. It starts to export from the start of the timeline, and you have to wait to end frame. It's possible to stop exporting and have the export file of that part.